All right, guys, what is going on? Needs more drums back in our city of Hawthorne for another fun little video, something that I've been uh, looking forward to for a while. You know, whenever I build any kind of city, the, the building is fun, but what's sometimes, you know, just as fun is uh, going back through and kind of fixing all your mistakes and sort of getting into the details and, you know, the, uh, the management aspects of the city, you know, really how to make things more efficient. Uh, you know, looking at things like public transport and, you know, any if any areas need to be sort of redesigned. So this is going to be the the first one of probably many episodes in this in the city where we're going to do just that and kind of look at some things where I majorly screwed up uh, because, you know, when you give yourself a time limit, inevitably, there's going to be some things that aren't good or don't really work out the way you thought. And, you know, that's definitely the case in a lot of parts of this city. So uh, before we get started, though, I do want to bring you guys over to this little area over here. Um, we were lacking forestry industry. It was the only resource that we didn't have yet. So I thought it'd be good to, you know, this would be a good spot to kind of put a little little forestry town sort of in this valley. Uh, it's very, very ugly. And, you know, I, I don't I don't like it as it is right now. So it'll kind of, it'll definitely get some, uh, th there's work to be done <laughs> to, to say the least, you know, especially like this whole area and these buildings are just kind of, you know, thrown together. But uh, it was really late and I was tired and I said, you know, what? I'm just going to build something that is, that works just to give us some resources. And sure enough, you know, we, we are producing the two forestry resources that we need. So now we officially have every single um, all of the four industries in the map. So you have forestry over here, agriculture, mining and oil down in this corner. So, yeah, that that's cool. Um, I actually recorded a video where I was building this, but I didn't like it because, like I said, it was. It was late and I was tired and I just, yeah, I just didn't like it. So, uh, it's there <laughs> and, 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 you know, there it is and all of its ugliness, whatever. But, uh, yeah. So the thing that I want to do today is I want to start looking at the traffic. So if we take a look at our info panel here, 63, we're sitting at, you know, just above 60%. Uh, I saw it low as 61, you know, as high as 63 as we just saw, uh, Needless to say, it's it's awful. The traffic in the city is just terrible. So whatever we do to improve it will, you know, be beneficial. So I think there's a couple problem areas that I've identified that I think would be good to target. One of them being this intersection right here. So this is kind of one of the main highway entrances for the city because we have, it, it goes right down the main road and there's a lot of industry in this area as well. So, and this is also, I think I had no, I moved that. Never mind. But yeah, like all of our city services are up here. So this is like a main road for a lot of people getting in and out of the city. So we're going to want to fix that up and kind of more in the in the downtown. I I don't mind some traffic in the downtown. I kind of like when there is traffic because, it's you know, it's a little more realistic and it kind of shows that, you know, people are actually going places kind of, you know, bring some life to the city. But this right here is just awful. I mean, you can see like these cars in this left lane are just that this is just backed up all the way you know all the way down to to the edge of the city basically to the to the coast so yeah that, that's going to need some fixing and i think improving those two areas will be you know really beneficial to to the city and then if we can maybe look at this main road too but yeah that's my goal for today is this intersection and this stretch of road if we can make those better then i will be very happy so let's start up here and i think what I want to do is, so for things like this, I do like to pause the game just because then the, the traffic gets all whack and then it's going to get messed up in other areas. So we're just going to pause it for now. And we, we don't have a ton of space to work with here, but what we do have is I, I think, I think I'm going to build sort of a, uh, what do you call it? Like a, like a double roundabout type thing where basically it's going to be like a half roundabout here and a half roundabout here. And then it kind of just goes you know, it's like a big, it's like, it's like a big ellipse sort of. Uh, so it, it'll keep traffic flowing, no left turns, no stoplights. And that'll, it's just going to be great. I'm super excited. So yeah, so let's go ahead and start building this. Yeah. And the goal, the goal is I don't want to delete, I don't want to demolish any buildings. So like, especially this house right here, I want to keep that house and see if I, if I can, you know, if I'm actually any good at building this without demolishing anything. Yeah, so I'm sorry I tried. That house had to go. <laughs> it was just, there was no way around it because if I would have 
push this over, then that means these would have had to come back and there just wouldn't have been enough room and this tennis court's in the way and it wouldn't have been in line with the roads either. So I think, you know, sometimes it just is what it is and this is, you know, just one of those things, but it's fine. Hopefully they won't be too upset. You know, that happens with cities all the time. You know, things need to get moved around and, and people sometimes get relocated as, as, a, as an effect. That definitely happened, I know, on the way by where I went to where I went to college, they they're doing uh, they were doing this massive highway expansion project, and a lot of the homes that were around there just got got torn down. So I think people may have had to relocate, uh, which you know again is just kind of what happens sometimes. So it looked like to get that to fit, it was getting a little close, a little low. There wasn't really enough clearance, so to get that to fit, I had to bring some of this down a little bit. Okay, so yeah, so we got the first part of it done so now what i want to do is go through and make the roundabout work and so i think i i i've kind of messed with this a little bit before in my other series and i didn't get it quite right so it's kind of been a while since i've done this with the traffic president mod and so i ended up making it to where i gotta fix it still but i ended up making it to where like people in this lane couldn't leave so i think there's some work to be done there, but yeah. So I think if these people want to turn right, then they have to be in this right lane. So this is the only lane that can go right. And then these two can go like this. And so these people have access there. And I think that I got to give these people an opportunity to change lanes. So I think these two can go here. This person can go like that. Or maybe not. This is this is where I get a little bit messed up. All right, we're going to try this. I'm not sure how well it's going to work and I don't I don't like this here how people can cross over, but I'm trying to figure out another way to do it where they can change. They can get into this lane because if people come off in this lane, then that means that they might want to go straight. They don't immediately have to turn right. So I think this might be one way to make sure that everybody can get where they need to go. And I know there are some roundabouts where you can actually cross over, like, like the two lanes can cross over, but we'll, we'll see how this works. This might, this might be absolutely awful, but we'll give it a shot. Maybe it'll, yeah, hopefully it'll work. Um, this road, this intersection is going to be another problem because coming off of this roundabout, people want to keep moving. And so if they can't move here, then this roundabout is going to get really, really backed up. So I'm thinking, oh man, I, I would love to make this another roundabout, but I kind of don't want to have so many roundabouts like right next to each other. Unless I add some time traffic lights. That, that might help a little bit. And also, I actually forgot to do this. When you have roundabouts, using this uh, junction, a uh, little, little button here allows people to keep moving through the intersection even if traffic in front of them is stopped. So it eliminates people just sitting here waiting for other cars to go. They can, you know, this can just continuously flow really smooth. So yeah, so we're gonna keep that for now. Uh, and yeah, let's... Let's think about what we can do here. So first of all, I would like to give people a dedicated turn lane, uh, which is kind of tough because in the vanilla game, it doesn't look like I have a road that's asymmetrical. So I think that I have to just go with a six lanes and then that kind of messes up this here because then I have three lanes coming in and I really don't want to do that. Uh, so. Uh, I guess this is this is what I'm gonna have to do. Let, let me think about this for a second. Yeah, so I think we're gonna do six lanes and a dedicated turn lane. Man, I really don't want to delete. I uh, don't want to delete these houses. Actually, I probably don't even need to. Oh, just because I hate that. Whenever you use like the no collision, it just pops up all the trees that got moved. So. But yeah, that's that. That's fine. That's fine. It's not, yeah, that's okay. Um, cool. So yeah, so we got that. 
Yeah, man, I really wish they had a, an asymmetrical road. I thought that they did, but I guess not. Hmm. That's a shame. Oh, well. Anyway, so yeah, so having this dedicated turn lane would be helpful. And I think that we don't need the six lanes going all the way through because this, this four lane road is going to be plenty. Although I would like to upgrade this to put some trees in the middle because this is a little bit of a bland, uh, just, you know, median, at least, at least for part of it, it would be nice to have some trees in the middle. Yeah, that's nice. Cool. All right, so now what we can do is add some time traffic lights here. And I like to put these, like th right now people are just going, you know, kind of wherever they want to go. I think it just is not good. So um, this is something that I have not done in a while. So I'm going to try and do this the best that I can. <laughs> so let's, let's, let's see here. Let's see what we could do. Yeah, so actually before... I do this. I think what I want to do is actually get the lanes going going to the right places. So these people actually I might just I might just do this, it'll be easier. So I want a dedicated turn lane to the left. So I'm gonna remove that one going straight, but the people can go straight in the middle. And straight and right on the right. I don't think we need a dedicated turn lane to the right. So we'll have that. And then here again, we will have a left turn lane. And then people can go straight in the middle. And then go straight and right. Same with this. We'll have... That's probably fine like this, actually. Just like a right turn lane and both lanes can go straight. Since not, I don't think a ton of people are turning left here. So I don't think we need a dedicated turn lane for this. And if we do, then we can upgrade it later. And same with, with this. I don't think we need a dedicated left turn lane either. It looks like people are mainly just that, that these two main areas, that this coming off of the expressway is probably the, uh, the most busy. All right, so the first thing that we wanna make sure that can happen is that people can go straight on both sides so yeah so if these people so if these people can go straight then we can have and actually we can have we can have the oh why won't the walk go green okay whatever we figured that out but uh yeah so these people can go straight and then that means that i think that's all that can happen yeah so we'll do that so that'll be one step Oh, actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's say everybody in this can go. And then these people can turn. Right. Actually, let's, let's, let's do, let's do this. Sorry. I'm, I'm trying to figure out how to, how to get this to work the most efficient. So yeah, so the light doesn't have anything to do with the lanes. It just has to do with controlling the traffic pattern. So yeah, so I think if all of these people can go at once and these people can turn right, then that's step one. And let's do this for, we'll make this one a little bit shorter. So we'll give these people a short, like a pretty short arrow. So that'll be step one. And now I want to add a step where people can no longer turn left or no longer turn right. And these people can't turn left and these people can go straight and right. So that way we have traffic flowing on both of these sides. And then this one will make a little bit longer since we'll probably have a lot of traffic here. And then the third one is basically the opposite. So these people cannot go. These people can turn left and then these people can turn right. We'll do this one like so. And then I think coming to the, some of the last steps, we're basically going to repeat that for these roads going this way. So then now, since those people have already been able to go right, then I think we could go like this. Everybody can go. And uh, these people can turn right, it looks like. Yep. Let's do that. And then we'll turn off this left turn. 
Oh, let's do this. Turn off this left turn. Uh, these people can go straight and right. And then these people can't turn at all. This will be a little bit longer because there might be some more people. And then we will add... The last one is that these people can turn. These people can't. And then these people can turn right. So I think, I think that means that everybody can go. So let's see if this works. So I think it's it's working for now. Um, the, my only concern is that this turn, the, a lot of people here are trying to turn left. So this might either require, I might actually make this a double turn lane and give them give them six lanes and they can, you know, actually why not just do that now? Uh, so yeah, so people can go, yeah, more people are turning left than I, than I thought. So let's switch this and then people can go double turn lane left and they can also go straight. So that gives people a little bit more options. You know, I actually might do the same thing. It looks like here because a lot of people are trying to turn left. So let me make that change as well. Yeah, that gives people some more flexibility in terms of, of the lanes they can use. So if they want to turn left, they can use two lanes instead of just one. And if they want to go straight, they can use two lanes instead of just one. And since not a lot of people are turning right, I know like by where I live too, there's a lot of areas where the right lane isn't actually a dedicated turn lane until they actually need to make the, the lanes... Um, the number of lanes smaller so going from like three to two then they'll make the right lane a dedicated turn lane and then you know it'll go down to two lanes uh, which i would like to do here but i don't think i can do that because um there's not a uh i i, I have this third lane here but that's fine but yeah i think this is going to make flow here a lot better and it is so satisfying to watch these traffic lights work like i don't know what it is man it's just like you, you spend some time setting it up and when it all flows you're like ah yes i did something good or maybe made people pissed off, but whatever. Uh, so that's that's that, that's good. Uh, so going down to the next part that I wanted to uh, tackle in the episode is this, stre this stretch of road right here. So I think, again, I, I don't like to delete things if I don't have to, especially big buildings like the stock exchange. I don't really wanna have to move this. So I'm thinking this might be just a combination of setting up some time traffic lights maybe removing some traffic lights and even even removing some of these junctions because I feel like I have a lot of roads and so maybe removing some of these roads will actually help re reduce the, you know, sometimes just reducing the number of junctions is like a good idea. And even here, you know, what I can even do is just make this road kind of come around. But then if this is even like a dedicated, if I can make this like a dedicated tram road or something or a pedestrian road, Hmm. Thinking here, and th this too. I don't. I don't think. I don't even know how much we need this road here. Or, or maybe I can just make this like a one-way sort of. So it's like a like a big like a big roundabout. I don't know. We'll uh we'll, we'll think about that in a second. Yeah, I think the first thing that I want to do here is make this a six-lane road, and it's nice because it's going to be the same width as the road that we already have. And I think if I can, ooh, this exists too, where I can keep the tram tracks on the right. That actually might be really, really good since that people then people won't have to cross the streets to, to transfer the stops and they still have trees. So that would look, it would look really nice too. So I'm thinking, let, let, let's, do, let's do this first. Yeah, so that's nice. So that, that, sometimes I don't like to, the trams to flow with traffic, but in this case, I think it might actually help some of the flow so that these people can have a dedicated left turn lane and then the trams can just 
you know, stop on the right lane. And if people, I know it's the game and they probably won't do it, but if people did want to, you know, go around the tram, they have this, this middle lane to do so. So that might actually uh, help a little bit. Uh, so yeah, so let's go and see what else we can do to improve this area. I do want to make, this needs to be a six lane road as well right here. Yeah, and I kind of want to do something with with these roads here and trying to get rid of, you know, this this tram. Or Well, I want to keep the tram, but I want to get rid of this road. So maybe here I might actually just get rid of this road altogether. And that way people will have to go and use this intersection instead of having this intersection that's really, really close. And even, even this community college, I might, I know I have this bus here, but maybe, you know what? I might make this a bus only road. So people can, uh, can I do that? I forget how to do that. I'm used to having like a bunch of mods. I do have, okay, cool. I do have bus only roads. Cool. Oh, that's an expressway. I don't want that. Four lane road with bus. I don't want that either. Man, I thought I had like a bus only, uh, just like a regular road, but I guess not. That's a shame. I wonder where's this where's this line going because I wonder if I can make this like a dead end and then just have it go back around. Yeah, so you don't really want to do that because it looks like this line is going is going around here. Yeah, so I'd kind of hate to hate to make this have to go back around and pick up this road again. I don't think that's really the best idea. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna leave this for now. And I would like to just make this about. Oh, you know what I can do? I think we can do this. Yeah. There we go. I could do that. Make this. Actually, I think I can do it for the whole segment. Cool. Yeah, so now people can't actually drive through here. Only buses can. So that might that might be a be a good a good idea there. Cool. All right. That solves that issue. And now for this one, I want to actually make this just a tram only road so that people can't actually drive on this. And I think this building would still have road access just because, you know, it's, we still have this road right here. So that shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. And then this is just kind of like a giant, giant roundabout, so to speak, so that people can still get where they need to go. And then now we don't have this, this junction uh, here with, with this, with this road. So that I think will help some of the issue. And then, you know, what we can actually do here too now is we can remove this stoplight so that people can just continuously flow through this intersection. And now I don't, I don't like that, how the tram has to cross over this, all these three lanes of traffic. So maybe, maybe for this section here, we can actually bring the tram back into the middle. And I know it'll have to cross here. Ah, oh, this is just, this is just not great. I'm trying to figure out a, a good way to do this. Yeah, I might have to get nifty with the time traffic lights and try to set up something where, you know, just the trams can cross. I don't know. I don't know the best way to go about this, <laughs> but th this still might be better. Uh, I just I just want to have this dedicated turn lane here for people going onto this road. Yeah, this intersection is the one that probably needs the most work. So I'm going to go ahead and take a second and, and set up the time traffic lights here. And then I will talk to you guys in a second when I get that all set up.
All right, so I made some adjustments to the lanes as well. So that kind of similar to the last intersection that we worked on, that people can have a double turn lane to, what, what is, what? <laughs> okay, um, well, whatever. Anyway, uh, the people can have a double turn lane going left. And I don't know what these buses are doing. I don't know why the buses just don't obey traffic signals. What? Okay, that's fine, I guess, whatever. This is why mods are fun and playing vanilla is not always fun because things work like that. But yeah, and then what I did here is since this tram has to cross over these lanes, I had these people yielding to the tram if the tram needs to go because there is a stop right here. So as soon as it's ready to go, it'll go. And uh, I deleted there was a traffic light here and I deleted that because I thought that was just, you know, not having these two close together. It didn't really serve a purpose other than letting the trams cross. And if these people, you know, see the tram move, then that solves that issue. Uh, the only thing is, I think I want to make this step a little bit longer where the, these people can turn left just because there's a really, there's a lot of traffic that's waiting to turn left here. So let me just extend, I think it's, um, let me see here. It's like step six. I'm going to make this just a couple of seconds longer. Except for, I don't know why these buses just don't obey traffic lights. That is just so annoying. Uh, and now this intersection down here is another problem child because now traffic is getting backed up from this all the way to here. So it's causing, you know, back up here. But I'm going to save that for probably the next episode. And it looks like we didn't even didn't even improve anything <laughs> by, by doing this. So this intersection is looking a lot better, though. And I think this one up here is looking a little bit better. Uh, I know that, you know, traffic flow is difficult because, you know, when, since traffic is waiting for these traffic lights, it all, you know, doesn't always help. Uh, but I think that the work that needs to be done in this area is going to take a little bit more time. So I'm going to go ahead and say that this is the end of the episode. And uh, in the next traffic fix episode, I might even do a little bit of this off camera just to kind of experiment with some things. And then I'll, I'll share with you guys, you know, what works or if you want to see me fail at this, that's fine too. Uh, but yeah, I definitely need to do some work on this road and this road here. So I might, you know, mess around with that a little bit. Uh, but in the meantime, have a great rest of your week and I will catch you guys in the next video. See ya. Thank mm -hmm. you.